Andrew McCart, IFL TV in association with MTK Global. I'm here at the Sheffield Arena in Sheffield with me. I've got Callum Beardo. Yeah. Callum, a long time out the ring there, but you've got the four, a valuable four arms under your belt. Yeah, I've got the four arms in my belt. I mean, I've not boxed since uh, last time I competed uh, 19th of July. Yeah, 19th of July, so quite also a quick camp as all well, that. I went, I was supposed to, supposed to box in November and December, but a couple of bad mis misfortune. Uh, I had a problem with medical and then. Uh, um, Unfortunately, I had a car crash as well, so which brought back a recurring injury. Jeez. So a couple of a bit of unluckiness, and then I was supposed to have a couple of weeks off over Christmas, uh, uh, rest, and then I got the phone call from Dave, the manager, probably a few days before Christmas, saying, "Do you want to box on Kel Book Show?" So we only gone had like five weeks turn around. So yeah, I've got in shape quick, but maybe just that bit of experience, that bit of maybe only a short camp could see a bit of frustration, a bit a few things out of way there. But got a four hundred in my belt and. Happy with a win. There was no way you were, you were going to turn down a. a, a no, no, never, race, never, never. If I'd have had two weeks of training, I could have made the weight. I'd have, I'd have took the opportunity. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I've got to say, I was on your box track earlier today, and uh, it says they've got you listed at cruiserweight. Yeah, now, so I'm looking at you. Yeah, you're not yeah. that much bigger than me. No, no, no. So I used to box uh, amateur at, um, <coughs> at cruiserweight, where they made the new uh, category, the 86 mm. kilo category. Because uh, we could make light heavy, but I was just killing myself too much in uh, um, the 86 kilo, especially when you had to box over the three-day format in the uh, uh, senior ABAs. I was struggling to make light heavy, so I boxed at cruiserweight for that. I mean, my opponents, even at light heavyweight, they're going to be taller than me. Mm. But I mean, well, I think my last opponent who I lost to in amateurs were like six foot six, Jeez. six foot seven, something like that. Absolute giant. So, in that, and that's the only lad I lost to in there. Uh, lost him twice in my last three years in amateurs. It's only the real opponent I've lost to in the last three years. So, yeah, I boxed at that, and then I come to boxing. Instead of jumping straight down to light heavyweight uh, when I come to professional, Dropping like six, seven kilos for my first for straight away. Mm. Uh, we thought we'll match it just a bit above, like 83. Obviously, there's not that many cruiserweights that want to hang around at the bottom end of cruiserweight. So we got told he, he was going to come in about 86. So the day before, so ended up boxing about the same. He ended up being about 89 for, for the fight, but he went fit, so alright. But so yeah, I'm working way down. So this fight today, waiting yesterday. 82, which is 12, 12, 11. Yeah. I think it was. So we're just slowly working us down to light of it, and then. Day before Wayne's, it's sound, but on the day, I struggle a little bit. But, uh, get the day before Wayne's, and when it comes probably next year or 18 months' time, looking at when we're coming for titles, uh, um, <coughs> going down to Super Middle, hopefully. That's what I was just going to say, I spoke to your manager Dave Colgo yesterday, yeah. and he said that even though you are sort of short in stature, it's yeah. your legs that's where you come. Yeah, I'm my legs, yeah. Your legs are ridiculous, yeah, man. Yeah, just so people know what I'm looking at there, look at this. I mean, they're yeah, big yeah, legs, yeah. man. You must. Uh, good and bad jeans. Good, yeah. good jeans exactly. have strong legs. Uh, yeah, le literally jeans. Yeah, <laughs> literally. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I have to get tailored jeans and tailored <laughs> stuff. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, could set of good jeans, but also I mean, we're boxing. It takes me out of here. But now I've always boxed. I've always been used to boxing taller people, so mm. it's just something you have to do. Tyson did it, so if I can dip fifty percent of what he did, he'll be happy. There you go, fifty percent. <laughs> be amazing. I'm, I've got to say, obviously, now you've had them. What was it eight, nine months off <coughs> from your last fight in July? Yeah, my last fight, yeah, end, uh, mid July, so till now, so yeah, but, yeah, seven, eight months. So you're like obviously out tonight. Uh, how quickly do you want to be out again? <coughs> uh, um, Dave's right there, so you can yeah, see. Yeah, Dave's him. right there. Yeah, <laughs> uh, looking at, I mean, these, I think, got some local shows. Uh, I think there's some at end of March, start of April time. So probably looking at, yeah, and and any time probably start of April, March, something like get out again. We'll get another four rounder in, and then I want to have another at least another four this year. Probably number four, three, three or four, three at minimum this year. So yeah, so looking to the end of this year, be five and zero. Yeah, and obviously up some probably six rounders or something like that next year. Well, you mentioned the the super middleweight division in there. Obviously, look at the size and all this sort of stuff. You, have you got a nutritionist on board to help you get down to that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last time you were down at that weight. Uh, I've never boxed super middle. I think, mm. my, I think my first bout actually, my first amateur bout or, uh, or third amateur bout. I remember boxing, and I was seventy seven kilos. I mean, I walked in at the first boxing gym, boxing gym to start, I was 97. So I worked off 20 kilos on my first amateur bout. So yeah, I boxed at 77 then. I, I boxed at light heavy for a few years, but my, like the last two or three years of uh, uh, amateur, I was at like weighing around 86, so that's like 13 and a half, so something like that. But yeah, I have a nutritionist on board, Lee Ricards. He's a Chef United so, um, lead nutritionist, so I've worked with him for the past four or five years. He's brilliant, he's got me in shape. Well, I mean, like I said, I were heavy and weren't in shape five weeks ago. And it got me on scales. Well, now yes, like uh, yesterday, best shape I've been in. So I'm in good hands. I'm in good hands. Definitely. Can I ask why they call you the vanilla gorilla? Uh, uh, I think I'm probably just short and stocky like one. <laughs> I think so. And uh, obviously a bit of pasty skin. Been on some 12 minute holidays though, so I, I might see, be I nice pasty. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, there's a guy out on island, Lee <coughs> Sullivan. He's also called the vanilla gorilla. I've, I saw that actually. Sure that, yeah, I saw yeah. that actually. Well, 
What was what weight is that? He's cruiserweight. Well, maybe in a few end of my career, we might have a matchup so you can leave, leave away with him yeah, another gorilla. gorilla title. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let, let him know. We'll have to see who can leave it a name. We'll see who leave it a name. But yeah, there can yeah, only man, be one. Can I bring you in just for a second? Yeah, just talk with this young man. <coughs> How you doing, dude? I'm all right. Yeah. I'm all right now. Yeah. Um, obviously, you've signed this young man. You're, you're, you're his manager. Yeah. Like you've, you've clearly seen what this this kid can do, but. How far? What are you hoping for this year into 2020 from this man? I just want to get him experience. That's all it is. You know, he's got the talent. I mean, there were some some little movements he did there, defensive moves in there that looked slick. Really, mm. I'm so happy with some of that because defense is a big part of whether you're going to make it to the top or not. And, and the fact that he can be selling through the tickets, getting rushed out, going on first, not fighting for a long time, and still be with it itself to just pull off those effortless moves. Mm. That shows you that what his mentality is like. Yeah, I like his mentality, he's a cool kid, he do not let things get to him. Um, I think with experience, I think he's, he's, he's a fighter that can definitely go on to win major titles. Um, he's dedicated, he's got a good team around him, Brendan who trains him, Danny, uh, Danny Wilson at um, Boxing Science. So he's got a good team mm. around him, he's got good people around him, and he sells tickets, so promoters are always going to want him. To, to be on their shows, which helps. I mean, I can't emphasize what that does for fighters. Plenty of good fighters don't get the opportunities, don't get the breaks because they get to a sta stage maybe five, six fights in, and then once they start having more expensive fights, promoters can't afford to put them on. Mm -hmm. But while ever they're selling tickets, you can kind of, it makes my job easier as a manager because I can build the fights for him that are, uh, that are gonna develop at the right pace, mm -hmm. having to rush him in. You know, um, all it is is experience in sparring. Going out, wanting to spar with the top top fighters that are out there, and and the guys that are so far ahead that he can pick little things from. But because he is an intelligent fighter, he's got intelligent people around him where they can pick things from these people that sparring with, and add to his game, so he understands when to do what at certain moments in a fight. Um, and then you're going to see some, some some good nights from him. You know, but this, like he says, this this year, um, let's just get these four rounders out of the way, move on. To six rounders, and and then we'll take it from there. Hard about trying to kill this sound, but we'll, we'll get through it. We'll get through it. Um, I've got to ask you, you, you went the distance in your last two fights, albeit it's been four rounds. Mm -hmm. you're, you're, it seems like you're fighting the bigger men. But yeah. you gradually come down. Can, are we going to see these stoppages <laughs> coming in? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to promise you until I'm a one night knockout artist. I mean, my amateur record, I think I won about 30 out of 40. I think I only had like three stoppages out of that. I know, I know I'm not. The biggest puncher, not the biggest puncher, but what I make up for that in is like so they've said, for my for light heavy and especially the cruiserweight for lads who are boxing, I move a lot better than them. Mm. I've got faster hands. Today I've some bit forced and a bit bit eager to let ring it go. Rust. A, bit, a bit a bit of ring rust, yeah, a bit of eagerness to let some hands go a bit, but I've always been faster, my movement's a bit better and a bit evasiveness so it's made up for it. So yeah, maybe going to longer rounds as well, wearing people down. Mm. I'm sure I'm sure we'll get some stops along the way though. I think as well what you just touched on there is that that it's been out of the ring for a long time, mm. so you have that that bit of eagerness to put on a show. Like I said, you've sold two hundred tickets, and you've got Eddie and you've got your you, you Sky TV show. You know, it, there's all that blended into into one night. For a kid that's only had one fight, you know, being out mm. through injury and not having having that, that it's kind of like your debut all over again, yeah. but yeah. under the spotlight. Yeah. So even if you're not consciously thinking about the pressures you are under pressure there is tension there and now he's used to that now he's, 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 he's experienced that his next fight will be more at ease everything will be more at ease every time it goes out I won't keep you much longer yeah, I mean uh, congratulations on the win cheers man thank congratulations you congratulations on you as well Dave thanks mate uh, go and enjoy the rest of the night yeah, yeah definitely that's hard like's probably going to kill us <laughs> but I'll see what I can do thanks very much cheers, guys. Pal, thank cheers you. Thank you.